just the back and forth momentum oh. swap that there's a big rock here comes Romero oh. but a pull counter there Bang! we go we have there a champion is. ladies and gentlemen you in contrast to what we're getting with Alexander Volkov we're gonna now Pavlovich is an exact oh, you fake love touch me you son of a bitch all right Pavlovich isn't exactly a reckless striker he's he has a good system behind what he does but what I'm going to try to do is basically winning brawls. Like, let's focus on trying to win a brawl. And essentially, what that has to come down to is you're making fast reads, like very fast reads. To make those fast reads, you need to have an expectation of what your opponent is trying to throw. A lot of it's going to rely on the block. So if you're choosing a fighter, not just like uh, only Pavlovich, but you generally you're choosing a fighter that has a pretty high block stat because... Newsflash, this part of the reason why you don't move your head so much as in MMA is because those small gloves can get through and there's the threat of kicks. But at the very least, we're blocking in this game paired with head movement. Woohoo! Fake club touching motherfucker. Oh, with the threat of like head movement, you can force a lot of brawls by predicting where your opponent is trying to go. So right there, he's trying to slip to my inside. We're going to make sure we try to end our combination with some more hooks. He got caught trying to go to the body, so we're going to keep trying to land his uppercut. Oh, look at that. Maybe the commentator curse affects me too. There we go. He didn't fire off anything. We're doubling up the hooks. And it's a, it's a lot of recklessness that you basically have to try and concede here. You kind of go away from uh, the grain of, okay, I countered, now I'm going to back out. You're essentially like taking those small battles and immediately putting yourself right back in the fire. Up. Oh, speaking of the fire, you don't want that fire? That's cool. I'm not really looking to, to grapple with Pavlovich right now. I know he's capable of grappling, but what I'm mainly looking to do is to knock your lights out. Oh my god. Commentator Chris. Good. Try to go for the clinch. Fool me. Alright. 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 That's the overhand. I'm gonna feed you on the right back. Ho 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 ho! That tipo ta loco. That tipo ta loco. Oh shit. No. Okay, get the fuck out of here. I ain't dealing with this shit today. I never even did anything to this guy. I don't know why the fuck he just fake glove touched me. Okay, we're gonna stay right here. We're gonna trust our ability to trade. Ooh. Like I'm not I'm not giving a fuck about my stamina much at all. The chin stat saved us there. There we go. <laughs> Tom Espinel. <laughs> Just start off the fight with a big ass overhand. We go for it again. Hmm. Okay. Different from the last one. Just gonna take in. We're just gonna take a lot more risk. We're gonna see what they're looking to do, and we're gonna focus on. Pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. Oh, my Lord. You got to understand something, brother. This is Sergei Pavlovich. You got to be careful looking to trade. I get rocked. It don't matter. Well, it does matter because Tom knocked him out. But still, I definitely don't think um, Alexander Volkov is going to be looking to <laughs> brawl with this man at all. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Hit that nice outside angle. Very good. Now, what I'm going to show you guys is basically cage cutting. Which, some people don't think exists in this game. But a lot of times, your opponent will do it for you. So, what I'm doing is, instead of just pressing forward, I'm going to be, well, I'm holding down. Essentially, right? When he starts to circle to his right leg, which should be, you know, down. Now, he's starting to circle to his left leg, which is up. So, I'm going to go and circle. Just... Step that way. I'm just going to match him everywhere that he steps. 
Because when he plants his feet, notice, when he plants his feet, that's when he's going to go. He's not really doing a lot of lateral shots. He is eating the fuck out of my legs, but we're going to disregard it. If we're going to pressure, we have to disregard the leg kicks. He's trying to build a type of respect, but I could tell, much like I spoke about in my uh, Boca video, he's starting to lash out. Because he started out with a pretty good stamina advantage, but now our pressure's making him throw. He's starting to move his head all over. I'm going to change up the rhythm. We'll slowly step outside and work the body. Land a clean shot. Hey, not register my check. Look at that. He tried to back step, but he got caught up by the fence. And now we're changing up our rhythm, right? We land a couple good shots. It's like the inverse of what we were doing with... That was nice. Inverse of what we were doing with Alexander Volkov. Before, we were like taking our shot and then retreating. Here we're landing our clean shot. We we give a little bit of space for our opponent to breathe. And then we go right back on offense. And we're changing up the trajectory of our strikes. My fucking leg. Jeez. Ooh, I'm glad I rolled that. Nice combination. Check one. Beautiful duck. That's a massive, massive duck that he was holding block on. Chigakic. All right. A little bit hard for me to kind of play like the psycho hold you. Like, I, I usually, I can walk certain people down. But, like, to do it this way, it's just, a lot of players, that's just, how, that's how they like to play. And if I can give you guys tips on how to play the way that you want to play with whoever fighter, if you're playing with a bruiser like Sergey Pavlovich, then by all means, fuck it, we'll do it. That's a nice uppercut counter. Which is something you have to look out for when you attack the body. Prior in the two previous games uh, iterations with that uppercut counter, that probably would have been a knockdown. And that shit really discouraged people from attacking the body. At the very least now, it's just rocks. You get knocked down if your head was really low or flash KO'd like anything else. But so it, that was a nice defensive buff to body shots. Anywho. Notice we focus on blocking. The overhand is there. Cross bleeds through. And we're not doing as much damage as we would like because our leg is pretty fucked up. But we are taking a good amount of head elf off him. So this is going to be the battle. It's going to be head elf. Trying to lower their stamina by attacking the body. Intercepting on the leg kick. We managed to get a nice jab there. Check that going. Kick. Ooh, look at that. We're starting to win a lot of those trades. You're moving but not countering. I'm going to back up with a little bit of space. There's the pull elbow they tried in round one. Check another kick. Ho oh, ho, shoot that down. Shoot that down. Okay. Flip the script a little bit. Mainly because my leg is kind of fucked. <laughs> So, this gives us a little bit of a break. We can do some work here in side control. Or, mm, yep, there we go. Backside's no dice. We can lay here and land damage. Maybe he'll try to move to one of the, move to the side. But we'll take the damage here that we can get. Oh, yeah. Very good. Now that we're on top. Our, foot, our main goal is going to be ground and pound. Ground and pound is our main goal. We're not really looking for submissions with Sergey. This is going to absolutely tear up the long-term health. Because Sergey's uh, ground and pound strikes, I'm pretty sure they're like a level 4 or 5. So it does a lot of long-term damage. And does a good amount of damage to the block too. Okay, that's fine. Deny that. Side control. And I wasn't really looking to grapple, but we'll take what we can get. Does he go up? That's cool. Ho ho! Oh my gosh, that would have been beautiful if we got that. 
Oh, shit. Okay. He's starting to throw. But his stamina's low. His stamina's low. His stamina's low. And that's from, one, a lot of our shots to the body starting to pay off. So that's lowering his stamina. We also outgrappled him on the ground and landed some good shots in sprawl. And now this third round, what we talked a lot about with the Volkov Showcase was about the concept of initiative. We're going to switch our stance. Right? Who needs to initiate? And now we have him in a situation where he needs something big here to try to get us out. I don't have to force the KO. But I just got to force big, big reactions. Ooh. Low stamina. We ate that kick. Hmm, we're in southbound now. Whoo, okay. He's ducking. He's thinking of a head kick. Hmm. Nice. He's doing a better job defensively because he's in survivor mode. But, alas, it was awful not. Get the body damage. He's going to back up. Ay, Dios mío, pobrecito. There we go. Now we can start to tear up the combinations. How the fuck did that land? There we go. Someone point him to this video when they say body shots <laughs> don't fucking work. Mm, mm, mm. Pulling away round three. Oh, okay. Nice knee. Better body shot. Ho oh, ho! Block counter hit the shoulder first. Block counter lands. And it's over. It's over. All right, that's going to be it for Sergey Pavlovich. So, does he beat Alexander Volkov? He very well can. He very well can flatline him. I mean, we saw what he did to plenty of fighters in the UFC uh, heavyweight roster, so more than capable of doing so. But we're going to land a beautiful left hand to the body to get ourselves a nice, nice body shot KO. And it came off of a lot of strategic, but also reckless pressure. Mercer 17, I appreciate y'all. I'm out of here.